So the year is currently 2024. There's been a lot of changes over the last couple years that are pretty mesmerizing. I think one of the coolest changes and newest things that's come out that's really going to advance society is the introduction of artificial intelligence or AI. There are a lot of different ways that you can use artificial intelligence in your daily life to help make things easier, such as writing emails, answering problems, helping you search questions that you don't even know. So I got to thinking, how's the best way that I can use artificial intelligence to help me laser engrave? So looking at Xtool, there's a new artificial intelligence tool. So I've been playing around with it here lately, and I'm gonna give you some of the stuff that I found. First off, I wanna try to show you another tool that you could use. So go on Google and find some sort of free AI tool. I'm using Gemini currently, which is Google's tool. And Gemini does it, basic images. They haven't been doing this long, so it's got some kinks in it, but it's a good way to start. So let's say I'm trying to engrave an earring of a, a beagle, because I have a beagle and they're one of my favorite dogs. So let's say that I say, give me an image of a beagle. So first off, it's just gonna give me a, a regular image of a cute dog. So if I'm wanting to engrave something, I really have to be specific on what I want. So here's a good example. Give me an image that I can engrave that is black and white and outline and has no background of a beagle that is inside a circle. So here's what I end up with. Pretty cool, right? So exactly what I wanted. An image of a beagle that I can engrave that is within a circle so I can engrave outside the circle and make an earring out of it. So next I'll just come to this little download button, go over to Xtool Creative Space and insert the image. This image is large so I have to scale to fit it on the page. Once I have my image, I can do any editing I need to it, such as changes the size. I can also come up here to edit and use this magic wand to remove the white background around the image. Click save. So there's one image that's ready to go. I could start engraving it right now and I believe it would look really good. So here's another way. I'm going to create a new page and on the left hand taskbar see where it says AI. What Xtool Creative Space calls their artificial intelligence is Artimind, like artificial mind. Let's click on it. And just like before, it's kind of the same setup. I can describe what image I want. So I'm going to say the same thing as I did on Gemini. As you can see, it didn't turn out that good um, exactly how I wanted it. You can see some of the beagle is coming outside the circle frame and this beagle is foots outside the frame. So like I said, this is pretty new. Um, there's a lot of kinks in it. So some ways that I could edit this. First off, I might want to change it to line art rather than a silhouette. So after quite a bit of back and forth, here's some images that it gives me that I think I can work with. Here's one of a dog with an outline of a circle around it that I can engrave around that is also dark enough that I think will make for a pretty good engraving. One thing I want to be sure to mention before I click on this image is you see down here on the bottom it says cost for remaining 272. So each image that I generate costs four points and these points are created from Xtool. There are different point rules of ways that you can get more points. Anything from share a how-to video, share an inspiration 
join a contest and a lot of different other stuff so that's definitely something you might want to look at if you're thinking about using uh, xtool creative space artificial intelligence tool very much so back to this i will take this image import to my canvas just like before this image has a square background around it which i don't want so i'll come up to edit Using the magic wand, I will remove the background and click save. And I can size the image how I want. So those are just two quick ways that you can use artificial intelligence to help make your engraving life a little bit simpler. Something like this would have took me ages to create on Adobe or on Canva or some other website like that. So be sure to use the resources that you have to make it easier on yourself. I hope that you found some benefit from this video and mess around with AI a little bit to find the cool different ways that you can use it to make your life a little bit easier. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also go down to the description below and find some great tools that you can use to either buy an engraver, buy some engraving tools, and just learn a little bit more. My channel is full of different ideas and tools to increase your knowledge of X tools and laser engraving. I hope you stick around for a while and you have a great one. Thanks.